Yo, what's going on YouTube Onyx? On this ultimate team, and I got a request for this lineup update, and I guess um kinda needed to show it to you anyway because of the two new additions that you see right in front of you. 99 Tony Romo. I got rid of that RG3 just because I wanted to try this Tony Romo. Uh don't get me wrong, RG3 is amazing. So don't think I got rid of him because he's bad. He definitely was not bad in any sense. He was a very, very good quarterback, actually. Um, never had any missed throws. I, I really had no problems out of that RG3. Uh, crazy speed, really good accuracy. I never had any fumbles. But I just love Tony Romo's throwing motion. So I wanted to try out this 99 Tony Romo. I hadn't used him yet. And then missed it. Mr. Spin Move himself, Eddie Lacy, is on the squad. Um, got rid of Vincent Jackson so I could get the coins to get this Eddie Lacy. Uh, basically, just because all the games I played, I mean, Vincent wasn't really doing too much. Vincent just, I mean, he was there. He's good. He's a really good blocking receiver, especially in the blocking department. He's really good. Um, good speed for 6'5". I'm just not a huge... I don't need 6'5". I'm not a face catcher. It really doesn't matter much in the, the, the height department as long as you can get open. And we all know the glitch Stevie Johnson can get open. So I had no problem getting rid of Vincent Jackson and putting Stevie Johnson back there. Uh, Brandon LaFell in the slot because he's just all around pretty good. Uh, he gets open. He's really good blocking. I mean... Uh, for his price, it's not much better you can do at wide receiver price-wise. Um, also, this is a new card that just came out last week, too. I don't think I said too much about them. Uh, Jake Fisher. They also had like a new tight end that came out. I think it was Max Williams that I did not do anything on because nobody really cares too much about tight ends. But they came out of the little positional, the silver positional set for tight ends. They gave you, it was only, it wasn't really any tight ends that came out in the NFL draft, so it was only Max Williams and then two offensive linemen, uh, which were Mr. Jake Fisher here, and also left tackle Lyle, Lyle Collins, I think that's how you say his name, Lyle, the one that went to the Cowboys. Uh, they also made a card for him. I did not pick him up though because I have DJ Humphreys already and uh, they're very comparable. But I did like this Jake Fisher card so I picked him up uh, when he came out on Monday and he is running right tackle for me. I went ahead and got rid of Sebastian Ballmer uh, just because this Jake Fisher is a whole lot more like his, his, his athleticism is something serious if you weren't paying attention. You just look right to 81 speed, 88 agility, 91 excel at right tackle. Like, that's crazy speed for a tackle. There's not too many offensive linemen in general that are that fast. It's like him and then, like, I think positional hero Kyle Long is, like, crazy fast like that. And then outside of that, it's not really too many other people that are that fast at offensive linemen. And uh, he's been doing pretty well there. I've had him there for a little bit now. I just haven't... Uh, showed him so the other games where Stephen Ridley was getting loose he was actually already at right tackle but he's been doing a very good job for me I actually uh, like having him there still rocking with that 90 overall Kyle Long at right guard I mean right guards are pretty expensive and uh, this Kyle Long does the job so why not uh, Nick Mangold who we got out of one of those season vet packs which was perfect so uh, we had picked up Hudson to actually play center and then we got Nick Mangold out of the pack so I just moved Hudson over to left guard through Mangold and at center who's actually one of my favorite centers to use anyway and then as I said DJ Humphreys at left tackle uh, still running a BS tight end just because I don't use my tight end so uh, they're really just there to block and Vernon Davis is a pretty decent blocker so why spend a whole crap ton of coins on something that I I just don't use. I really don't. And defense is kind of sort of the same. Kind of. Uh, made a little bit of changes here and there. Michael Johnson threw him over at left end. Uh, picked up Trent Cole at outside linebacker and threw him at right end. And then uh, got rid of some Derek Marks. Paella is never going anywhere because he's a monster. Paella is disgusting. Uh, if, you, if you're not running Paella 
you need to. Like him and Don Terry Poe are like the most ridiculous and underrated defensive tackles. Like if you're probably if you run both of them at the same time in a four three, that's that that's like the most disgusting defensive tackle line ever. That's not consisting of ultimate legends, obviously, because it's obviously not better than a, a defensive tackle lineup where you're running like ultimate legend John Randall and like position hero Gerald McCoy or some shit like that. Obviously, that's better. But when it comes to running these regular, these regular not so expensive elites. Paella and, and uh, Don Terry Poe are like the best two defensive tackles I've used that aren't crazy expensive. John Randall is the best defensive tackle I've used by far. But outside of him, uh, Paella and Don Terry Poe are amazing. Uh, Michael Johnson has also been very good for me. Uh, Eric Rowe has been doing his thing. He, I don't know. He, he, he just plays really good coverage. Like, you don't see him much. Like, he doesn't get too many interceptions. But he doesn't get thrown that much. And I have noticed that when I've been playing. He just plays really good coverage. And when he does get thrown at, he's usually in a good position to, like, knock the ball away. Or, or if, uh, if the receiver catches it, he knocks it out their hand. But he, he doesn't jump too much. Like, he's not really the, the jump-the-route type of cornerback that I was hoping he'd be. But he's been a really good just coverage corner in general. Uh, we all know about that glitch Parish cops on the other side. Uh, Tremaine Johnson has also been very good for me. Uh, I moved him to the slot just because his press is so trash. Like, I have to back him off every single time. And I play a lot of man. And I play a lot of man press. And his press is just so trash that he, even with his really good speed and his really good acceleration, he gets beat very often. So, uh... I threw him into the slot so that I wouldn't have to worry about backing him off every single play just because he, he his his press is disgusting. It's disgustingly bad. Um, Ronnie Lott's never going anywhere. He's ridiculous. We all know that. Um, Brandon Marshall's really just there. Uh, he was actually given to me, but I don't use left outside linebackers very often. I, if you see my formations, I'm mainly in nickel, so... I can't really say too much about Brandon Marshall. Like, he has really good stats, but he's just not on the field enough for me to, to know how good or how how bad he is. So I really can't say too much about him. Shazier is a monster, though. Thank you for pointing out Ryan Shazier. Um, thank you. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Thank you, because I literally forgot about him. I forgot he came out. And he is disgustingly good. And we all know I love Eli Harold. Um, I threw Glover Quinn back at free safety just because uh, I, w I wanted to run a little more zone instead of running those man. Since I since I got Ronnie Lott, I decided to just go with another zone free safety instead of the man safeties that I was running with Tavon Branch and uh, Richards. So I got rid of Richards and uh, went and picked that Glover Quinn up just to run some safeties that play better zone. And... Uh, Glover is pretty good. I mean, he's nothing special, but he's only like 25, 30k, so he's good for the price. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if if there's anybody that y'all want to see that's not too crazy expensive. Let me know. I might see if I can do some things, move some people around, and pick them up. But you should be getting a gameplay with this. With this monstrous Eddie Lacy and this Tony Romo, uh, you should be getting that tomorrow. I should have that out for you tomorrow. But that's going to be it for this one. I'm on it. And I'm out of here.